Howdy guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We are on part 4 and we are in the cave. So we set our lantern up and if you use your sword after lighting the lantern, he'll just hang it on his back so you don't actually have to be using it as an item like all the time. So you can come over here and swish through the, swish through the grass. This is a really easy cave, I mean there's nothing even remotely complicated about it. It's pretty simple. Oh, hello. <laughs> she just kind of owns your ass, didn't I? Okay, as spider webs, you know what to do here. If you've ever played a Zelda game, you know exactly what to do. So, let's keep going. There's more monsters. I'm not really stopping to fight the monsters here much, but maybe I should. Just for the sake of showing it. But oh well. Hey, we made it to the end. That's cool. We're going to be coming back to this place later, but it's going to be a little more deadly next time. So, oh, we don't need the lantern anymore, so let's turn it off. There. You just turn it off by pressing A. And this place here, now this is going to be a little more deadly as well. Holy crap is it ever. That remains to be seen. Yeah, Link's a badass. Even in these weird clothes, he tends to be quite cool. Let's see what could be up here. Doesn't seem like we can get any further. Okay, whatever. Oops, I missed you. And you got me! You hit me with your club, you stupid freak! <laughs> yeah, you see the monsters die a little bit like they do in Wind Waker. Kind of a similar sound, similar explosion style of how the... Oops, so we're going back the way we came here. What we need to be doing is heading, I think, this way, actually. But let's just uh, stop dilly-dallying around here and uh, make it make it happen. Of course, I'll know in my luck I'll come to, like, a dead end over here or something. And this is a cool little forest. There's, like, this huge wide-open space here. And it's just royally cool. Well, we got two uh, moblins guarding a gate here or something. I'm not sure what those are. Boat goblins or something. And it seems to be locked. Without a key, you cannot proceed. Well, that bites. So, where do we go to get a key? Well, let's see. I, sp I don't suppose you're carrying a key. No, you're just smoking, that's all. So, let's check out the other exits here. I love this, like, you can go under the tree here, it's just kind of... <clears throat> it almost looks like some kids or something, maybe we're building a fort out here, and they just never got a chance to finish it. Wow, what could possibly be down here? I don't think I'm supposed to be going this way, but I'm gonna check it out now while I'm here. See if we can do this early. <laughs> we can do some sequence breaking here. Let's light this place up, see what we got. Ooh, I see a treasure. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. I see a couple of torches, too. I might want to check that out. Oh, it's a small key! Well, holy crap, how about that? So let's go ahead and light the torches here. I don't think it uses any extra oil to swing that thing, like, to light a torch. And we make a treasure appear. I love how the treasures just appear in this. It's just so cool. It's one of those things that once you've seen it a certain number of times, you start to take it for granted. But it's always cool. Anyway, it's a piece of heart! Collect five pieces! to form a new heart container, yes. In this game, it's five pieces to make a new heart container, which means that much more messing around. But, you know, like they say, <coughs> messing around is not, not entirely a bad thing. That's largely the appeal of many Zelda games. In fact, I'm, you know, I, I, to be honest, I'm not sure why this game gets looked down on so much, because, like, it reminds me a lot of the first Zelda game more than the others do. I mean, if you look at Wind Waker and the items you pick up in that game, so there's nothing even remotely original. This is a hookshot, mirror shield. Those were both an Ocarina of Time, fire and ice arrows. And, uh, oh, hello. Got you in the butt. Got you in the bung. No, I don't think there's actually an item that you get in Wind Waker other than the sail and maybe a few other things here and there. But it's mostly the same items you get in all the other Zelda games, and the same is true for... You know, Majora's Mask, you get fire and ice arrows, you get... I mean, you get masks, that's what makes it so original, though. You know, I mean, I guess people's biggest beef with this game is that it didn't really take any risks. It, you know, like Majora's Mask had the moon. You know, a huge moon dropping out of the sky. It was really incredible, and the whole three-day thing, it made it kind of interesting. And Ocarina of Time, I mean, you're talking about starting out as a kid and turning into an adult. It doesn't get any more epic than that. And then Wind Waker, the whole sailing thing, oh no, they're trapped. So, 
you know, so those games that had a certain original gimmick to them. But this game, there's not really anything original about it. But I still... But that's why I say it kind of reminds me of the first Zelda game, because a lot of the items you pick up in this game, when you get them, you have no idea what they do. Because you have to use a spin attack to free those guys. You know, items later in the game that you pick up, you don't know what they do, and it's kind of like in the first Zelda game when you get the step ladder. You're like, what the hell does this do? Or when you pick up the Book of Magic, I'm like, you know, holy crap, you don't have any idea what any of this stuff does. Oh, no. Oh, Monkey tried to protect you, and that's why he got captured, too, or she. That's kind of cool. Maybe those monkeys aren't so bad after all. Capri Sun! Oh, no. Get some more toilet paper. My son told me Tallow disappeared into the woods and I had not returned. And he had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. You did? Wow, you nasty... Never mind. Notice how it's like the twilight time of day right now. <laughs> I don't know if they do that on purpose. Or if I just got lucky. <laughs> yeah, I might even meet the princess. That would be cool. Ugh, what do we add on time here? Ooh, 1947. Hey, we're pretty good. Pretty good so far. Okay, back on the ranch again. Let's see what's going on. Oh man, more goats. Stupid goats. Oh, I'm looking at the sky all pensively. Hey! Oh, not a moment's peace. Better put on that smile. So happy. Somebody's running back and forth outside. So almost time for you to get going, huh, Capri Sun? So how's it how we finish up early today, bud? Sounds good to me. So let's, uh... Pick up the grass and call our horse. Ooh, Hinawa, come to me. Isn't she pretty? She's so beautiful. All right. You know, I'm not still in love with Hinawa. I know some people are asking me about that. I'm like, I'm not in love with her. She's... I just happen to like the... You know, I mean, when people make fictional characters, they're based on qualities that real people possess, and those qualities are what... I like to see it like what I love about a person. So, it's not so much Hinawa that I like as it is the idea of Hinawa, I guess. The idea that there could be someone out there who's like her. Now people say you don't really know her in the game that much, you don't get to know her, but... You know, I don't... Like I said before, it's like... Oh, dude, what are you doing going over there? Get away, get away! Now, if you do too much whooping, these guys will actually start to attack you. Like, they'll get mad. So, you probably want to try to take it easy on them as best you can. Oh yeah, look at those guys going in. Go, 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 go! Oh, I'm about to run you over! <laughs> He's gonna get mad. The nice thing about the horse in this game, like, when you run into a wall, he doesn't, like, jump up and stop for five seconds. Alright, let's turn back around this way, because I don't want to run those guys off to the left. Okay, you're done. Well, shoot, I thought we were done! Oh. Yeah, I really need to practice this, I guess. Good lord. Get in there. Maybe I'm not urgent enough with them, I don't know. Anyway, we did it. 119, I suppose. Could have been better. Oh boy, but you all can herd. That was 141 faster than usual. Well, that about wraps up for today, so how's about y'all head on over to the mayor's place? Mayor's place? What does he want? Woohoo! Oh, I almost swallowed my spit there. Holy crap, sorry about that. Oh, epic cutscene. Awesome. Um, oh. oh, by the way, guys, I, I just found out earlier a second ago, I took the cable plug out of the back of my DVR and just put it straight into the TV instead of running it through the DVR. And apparently, I still have cable. My internet and phone aren't working, but I still have my cable. So, thank God, it looks like I will get to watch Lost tonight. Of course, you guys will know that by the time this video gets up. I will have Twittered it or something. Speaking of which, my Twitter is Lost Guy. I don't know if anybody knows that. How many people look at the profile? I find myself going for months at a time without looking at the profiles of even my best friends, which is kind of bad. But you don't think to do it, though. It's like, you know, you, get, you see their videos and you think that's all the update you need. The royal gift Russell told you about is ready, so you should get ready for your trip to Hyrule Castle. Now the royal family requested this gift specifically, so it's real special. It would be... Bad. If the representative of Orden were to be late for such an occasion, you get me, lad? Yeah. Fast before he was alone, my sweet horse, but please bear Capri Sun safely along it. Yeah. Wait, what's this? Oh no. 
<laughs> Link is like, oh no. What's happened? She's injured, isn't she? Urgh, damn it. Capri son, how could you? You were pushing Hinawa too hard again. I bet you heard her jump leg jumping fences, didn't you? Now, now, Ilya, there's no need to get so hot with him. Father! You asshole! How can you be so easy on him? You're the mayor. You should start acting like one. You poor thing. Oh. <laughs> It'll be alright, and I'll take you to the forest spring right now. Once we soothe you in the spirit spring, you'll feel better in no time. Oh, damn it. They're gonna go have their girl talk now. Wait, Ilya! I don't know if that's Ilya or Ilya. Why, without Hinawa, the gift won't get delivered in time. Oh, this won't do. This won't do at all. Oh, man, I'm out of time. Holy crap. Okay, so next time on The Legend of Zelda, we're gonna see what we can do about the injured horse. See ya.